We're live top of the second. Three nothing Mariners. Von Rodriguez. That's strike three. Or at least Mark Carlson thinks so. Pudge doesn't think so. He has a few things to say. Carlson takes his mask off. Pudge walks away. Everything's really cool up to this point. Pudge turns back, says a few words, but then he gets to the dugout and Pudge goes cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. I mean, he goes crazy and you don't point at the ump because then you get ejected. And once he's ejected, then Pudge comes out and decides to get his money's worth. Last time he's ejected, April 14th of 2000. Hey, Pudge, time for you to get gone. But before he leaves, I'm the best catcher. Go out, 2-2 pitch to Lance Berkman. Hold up, wait a minute, we freeze the pitch. Redmond's pitch to Berkman looks like it's over the plate called ball. Home plate ump Justin Clem thought the pitch was low. Berkman will walk on the next pitch. Next batter, two on Adam Everett. School of hard knocks, scores Jeff Kent. Middle of the Strohs lineup, went seven for 18 at the plate, one zip Strohs. Next batter, another controversial call. Freeze it again, Redmond's pitch to Brad Ausmus, called ball again. Clem thought that was inside. Jack McKinn is like, what? Bottom six, one on for Pudge, three one count. Brad Lidges' his pitch called a strike. Catcher Brad Ausmus throws out Luis Castillo trying to steal second. We freeze it again, this time called strike. Very close on the outside corner. Pudge would ground out to end the inning and then Pudge was hot. Right about now, Clem is praying somebody please hold that dude back. Pudge is tossed. First three hitters in the Marlins lineup all hit over 300. They still get out hit and outscored. Strohs win 3-1. Green. Always a dangerous bat opposite way. That's going off the wall. Paul LaDuca will try to score, but wait a minute. Alex Gonzalez has got a gun, and his throw is right there. LaDuca is called safe by first base on Pondra Wendelstead, and Pudge Rodriguez is ejected. Take another look. Pudge has the ball, tags LaDuca not once but twice, but the call is that LaDuca is safe. He shouldn't be out anymore. Oh, man. Pudge is ejected for the third time in the last two weeks. What has he got to do? Let's flash back. July 29th against the D-backs. It's all about Rodriguez because Pudge back then was thrown out for arguing balls and strikes. No brainer. Wait, it continues. August 3rd against the Astros. Pudge thrown out again. For what? Arguing balls and strikes again. Back to Tuesday. Let's see how long it took for Wendelstedt to toss Pudge. 2.9 seconds is all it took. One profanity and that's it. You're out. Still 4-3. Tigers back in the Bronx. Couple of All-Stars reminiscing about last year's World Series. Derek and Pudge. Speaking of Pudge, called out on strikes by uh, Angel Hernandez. Pudge doesn't like the call, and uh, he'd be thrown out. I guess he was guilty of uh, smiling in the dugout. Alan Trammell trying to argue he's gone too. Third ejection of the year. By the way, Angel Hernandez. There's the tap at the third base. The contact play was on, so they have Torrey in a rundown, and he is tagged out as he gets to the plate. Whoa, and Torrey just pushed Pudge Rodriguez in the back, and here we go. Both benches have emptied. I don't know what Pudge might have done or said to Torrey Hunter, but Torrey Hunter went right after Pudge. I think Pudge gave Torrey a little shot after tagging him out. And now here come the bullpens, although things have calmed down pretty well around home plate. In fact, he's dangerously close to getting out of that dugout again. Yeah, he is. I'm pretty sure that the Pudge got thrown out of the game. Yep, they tossed Pudge. And don't be surprised if they tossed Torrey, too. Yep, they did. In tight. It's 2-0. Uh, Pudge getting into it with DeMauro. Now, Pudge held that ball a long time, and I think DeMauro barked at him. Throw the ball back. You're showing me up. And he's gone. All right. Cecil Cooper out, but now he'll have to go to J.R. Tolls. Washington, and they may have lost their starting catcher in this game. Here's the pitch, and it does appear that he foul tipped it. The ball will go right off the end of the bat into the glove of David Ross. But watch, David's taken the ball out of his glove and dropped it. And the umpires agreed that it was a catch and then dropped taking the ball out of his glove. Rodriguez threw his bat. The helmet will go shortly. 
and then he will go to the showers without ever catching a pitch tonight as he was thrown out apparently by Brian Knight, the third base umpire. There it is right there. 